Big Blue Nation. How we feeling? This guy, gone. But we're getting a better idea of who will be coaching in Lexington next year. CBS and ESPN are both reporting that Kentucky is bringing in former Wildcats Ooh. national champion Mark Pope. Okay. Mark Pope could be the new head coach. He spent the last four seasons at BYU. Your thoughts? Um, I don't know anything about Mark Pope. Okay, so here, here's the thing. I think I think it is the kind of hire that is not the sexy hire. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And there's going to be, I don't know if you know this, uh, Big Blue Nation, we in the fan base, we can be a little bit... Um, Tough to deal with at, at times. Aggressive might be a word for it. And so I think there's going to be there's going to be a corner of the fan base who who don't necessarily like this hire at the surface just because it maybe isn't the top guy they were hoping for or even the second guy or third guy they were hoping for. But what I'm hoping is that this is a coach who has a really fun style of play up and down the court, lots of threes. That's how that's how he played at least last season at BYU. He is a guy who knows the program obviously very well. Won a national championship right. at UK. And he also just happens to be good friends with Jeff Shepard, who is the father of Reed Shepard, who was the freshman of the year and played at Kentucky. And everybody's waiting to see if he is going to jump toward oh the NBA gosh, or if he can stick around. So there are levels and levels so and levels many. and levels like and levels an and onion. levels. Yeah. So We're just going to keep peeling back this big blue nation. Again, ESPN and uh, Matt Nordlander, who's been all over this story at CBS Sports, they both had this out kind of late last night. We don't have anything official from the university or from Mark Pope just yet, but obviously we will follow very, very closely. Okay. Well, Another big story, a, a lot, the live taping of New Heights starring Travis and Jason Kelsey was a just phenomenal success. People were very <laughs> excited. Yeah, the two NFL stars and UC alumni hosted their show inside UC's Fifth Third Arena last night. Yeah, the night kicked off with the Lom Baby games, which just they just looked like look, they were just pure and just... absolute chaos. This is from the New Heights <laughs> Twitter or X feed. Oh my gosh, how fun. I think they were wrestling in Chile, right? They are. They're hurling. Uh, they're hurling even, Chile. Even Travis there in the background was seen running from the vat of flying Chile. Some commented on a, a post, I can't believe that you are wasting all that skyline. It does seem kind of wasteful. Yeah, another said, to, uh, to relive my college days. Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow was their special guest. Orlando Brown Jr. was in the building as well. Uh, the Kelsey brothers were also given. They were given diplomas. Isn't so, that cool? Yeah, it, it's cool. They tweeted out the video of them in their caps and gowns. And look at this picture. Local 12 zone. Chelsea Sick got with Mama Kelsey herself. Donna Kelsey out there as well enjoying the festivities on UC's campus yesterday. And I've only seen little bits and pieces here from what happened yesterday. But it must have been a wild, well, and I mean that in the best possible way, kind of time And, of there. course, don't forget Joe Burrow was there. Right. Uh, Desmond Ritter was there. Orlando Brown. Was, uh, was Sauce there, too? Was Sauce, Sauce Gardner, Gardner was there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, something that I read that I didn't know was that Joe and Jason, apparently Jason had been texting Joe. Oh, when he was leaving Ohio when State. When he was leaving Ohio State trying yeah. to get him to come to UC. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously it's, it, worked work. it worked out for everybody. It worked out for everybody in the end. It's fine. It's fine. But, but if that that picture, like the one picture when he was shirtless watching the game, yeah. that is like the Iconic. most Jason Kelsey kind of picture. Like that's spot on yeah. perfect right just a great night yeah hey you can get your daily caffeine fix <laughs> don't know if you noticed i had mine uh but you can also <laughs> help a good cause in northern kentucky yeah we love this point perk opened in 2015 and yesterday there was a grand reopening the coffee shop is run by the nonprofit, the point arc of northern kentucky and greater cincinnati so they employ people with developmental disabilities in addition to coffee point perk also prints their own custom t-shirts we're going to show you one of those in just a second. Longtime employee Mary Ellen Can uses her art skills to bring joy to people every day. So I used to take art art class in high in school, but, and that's how I know how to do that stuff. It's their life, and there's no way that you can even imagine the joy and the pleasure I get having this kind of job that changes lives and that really means something. Wow. That is so cool. The city of Covington is expanding the sidewalk around the shop now to allow more outdoor seating and a walk-up window for customers. Point Perk is also open from 7 to 4.30 on weekdays and 7 to 2 on Saturdays. Here's one of those shirts. And I know that uh, Megan Mangello did a, a full story on this. If you would like to check it out, it's on local12.com. Yeah. Um, but they sell the shirts right and some pretzels that they make to help benefit that organization it's as well. It's just a really cool place, and, and they got really good coffee. Really good and, coffee. You know, little, little snack-on kind of things as well. But um, 
just a neat, if you've never been to Point Perk before, stop by there one day when you need a cup of joe, you need to refresh later in the day or just to get started out in the morning. Or if you just and, need a, a smile, you know? You know what, that's it. And we all, we all could use more of yeah. those. That, that's kind of the point of what we do as well. You know what I mean? So a little bit of a smile here and there. Good for everybody. Good for everyone. Yeah. Well, you can hear the sound, speaking of a smile and something for the senses <laughs> uh, of the past, this weekend at Music Hall. Take a listen to the mighty Wurlitzer. Friends of Music Hall sent us this video of their Wurlitzer. Tonight, this organ will be playing along with a classic silent film. That's awesome. More than 2,000 pipes for the organ are hidden in the walls of Music Hall's ballroom. So you can really kind of feel the sound. Tonight's Wurlitzer concert and silent film starts at 7 p.m. I think our buddy Kyle Inskeep went over there and did some stuff with the, uh, the Mighty World Tour before, did a story on it, maybe something yeah, like that. But there aren't that many of them. Well, so what a fascinating instrument just to begin with. And when you put it in Music Hall, a place that is so acoustically mm -hmm. perfect, you, you know what I mean? It's tremendous. Plus, every time I think about the Music Hall ballroom, do you know what I think of? Can I tell you what I think of? My senior prom. Did you get to have your senior prom at the that's, Music Hall Ballroom? Yeah, that's where, that's where we had our senior prom. That is yeah, pretty up there, cool. Brian Adams singing everything I do, would do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to dress like Robin Hood, but I wasn't allowed. Um, I'm kidding. I didn't try to do that, but it would have been yes, fun. I would have done my British accent pretty close. Uh, you can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.